Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russian, and I'm going to talk a little about this uh, HTC Evo 4G that I got. Uh, I've had this phone for about, well, since it, since it was released. Um, so let's just go around, and I'll show you a little uh, about this phone here. Okay, so you have your touch-sensitive buttons on the bottom here, and they, they actually work. They're very responsive. Like, I would, thought maybe they would just, you know, would suck, but, you know, they work very, very nicely. On the bottom, you have your HDMI and your USB. On the right side is the HDMI out, and the left is the is the USB mini USB. And then that little the hole right there on the left is your is where you pick up the uh, sound. So when you're talking and stuff, uh, this left side is completely clean. It's got nothing on it. The top has the you know the standard um, uh, jack for your headphones. And the hold power button is right there, and this this is actually I mean it's it's pretty cl like flush right there, but people have a hard time hitting it. But I I I don't at all like people complain about how it's hard to hit it if you don't see it. But you know I don't have that much of a problem with it. Maybe my fingers are just perfect size for that, or I don't know what it is. And on the right side here you have your volume up and volume down, and right here on the very top above the Sprint uh, logo is your front facing camera. I think it's like a 1.3 or a 1.7. Not really sure, but it's very decent. And then up here you have your, your this is your uh, speaker here, and then your notification lights are right in there, and they blink when you get some like text or uh, mail. Uh, let's see. Yep, and that's pretty much about the all I Oh, well, let's look at the back. Yes, that's important. Um, this is your like dual LED flash, your 8 megapixel camera. And the thing about this camera is it does stick out a little bit. And this this little lens here, it might get scratched up if you're not too careful putting on a rugged surface or something. Because it's, essentially it kind of sits, it kind of sits down. And that's what it's sitting on. See how it's sitting right on the camera right there? So people have been complaining about like, oh, my camera's gonna get flashed up and all that shit, but I don't know. It's been fine. You have this very, very nice HTC right here. It's actually, I think, uh, metal. It feels really nice. And then you have that Sprint with the 4G and the kickstand. And then the speaker right here, which I find is actually fairly loud for a phone. Because a lot of times I'll just put on Pandora radio and I'll just let it sit there and play. And it's very loud. And yeah, the kickstand, of course, which is, I think, is pretty sweet. Um, there is an app on here that allows you to use your phone basically as an alarm clock. And if you do that, you know, I don't know, I find that pretty sweet. I mean, here, set it up. And look, your phone's pretty much an alarm clock, and it's on, on that kickstand right there. I find that a pretty badass app. <laughs> I don't even know if it's an app. I think it just comes with the phone. But whatever, it works pretty sweet. Um, at the very end of the video, I think I'm going to take off the back and show you guys how the back looks. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about what I think is awesome and what I think is uh, bad about this phone. Okay, first of all, these buttons in here are touch sensitive, so if you're not careful, and you're not constantly, you know, I mean, I've gotten used to it. Like, my, I give it to my friend and my friends and they're like, oh, pick up the phone, they start playing a game and they'll accidentally bump one of the ones at the bottom and they'll kick them out of the game and they're like, what the hell, man? I just remind them they're touch sensitive buttons. And I mean, I don't have a problem with them anymore. I mean, I used to, first couple days, I was, you know, holding it like this, I didn't really care. And I would accidentally hit like the home button and, you know, it would push me out of whatever application I was in. Awesome thing about this, it, um, it has this HTC Sense UI, which gives you um, the ability to have your customizable screens. I think you get about, I think, seven of them. Yeah, I think it's seven. And you can put whatever you want on those uh, screens. And there, at launch Pandora Radio. Just to show you how, how loud this actually can get. Um, let me come up and turn this. What is it? I think Pandora is pretty awesome. It's just I found the saliva of Pandora radio is really sweet. But anyways, it's loud. Just just take my word for it. Um, a couple of um, apps that I like. Uh, I like uh, let's see, Toonie. It's you pretty much just like it's like LimeWire or any kind of torrent for your phone, like phone. And you, you just type in like whatever you want, like Eminem, and you can download it. Uh, shop savvy you scan a barcode 
and they'll search around that area for this like the cheapest price for that item that you scanned and then I mean it's it's not, and then Google Skylight you can look at the sky and they'll tell you like locations of stars and whatever it's it's cool um let's see what else should we talk about well let's see this, be, this is a quick review so if you guys have any questions or anything just uh, let me know and I'll certainly answer um I think uh, let me show you how the back looks well actually yeah I'll do that I'll show you how the back looks Shut this off. I'll shut it completely off actually. Don't want to just pull the battery out for no freaking reason. I'll show you the memory card as well. Um, there we go. Power off. And okay. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. Alright. And then the back looks really nice if you guys haven't seen it before. It looks really awesome. All of the bag is red. I think that's super sweet how HTC would just do that. I mean, even the freaking battery's red. Of course, I'm getting a new battery. I'm going to get a different one that has a little, um, just a little larger um, in the storage. I think it's just like a 1750 uh, or whatever. This is only 1500. And if you pull the battery off, that's where you get your micro SD card, which is located right underneath the battery. And there it is right there, and I think it's right now it's an 8, eight gig. You can upgrade to a 32. And I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys got any questions whatsoever, just feel free to comment, uh, rate, you know, ask your questions, and I will make more videos as long as people ask more questions. Alright, guys, Russian signing out. Peace.